Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here. Well, as you can see, I got my Vantage open here. Uh, I got a little over 100 hours on it now, and I decided to go ahead and change the oil. I wanna say it's 200 hours interval uh, is what's recommended. I just decided to go ahead and change it because I got it off the truck, and uh, yeah, I don't know exactly what kind of oil they used in it, and they use these wacky Baldwin filters. But here you go, there's the Vantage. Um, supposedly you don't have to take it off the truck to drain it, but while I had it off, I just decided to go ahead and do it. And um, It had, yeah, like I said, these Baldwin filters. Let's see if we can get these to focus. Right there. Uh, never really heard of Baldwin, although I've seen those on a bunch of other rental equipment. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put Kubota filters back in it and spent the morning tracking down the uh, part numbers, which I will take over in a minute here. So this just has a sediment filter right up here uh, another inline filter here and then uh, the oil filter air filter is up here i was not able to track that down at kubota but i was able to get one um, from uh, bnw welder parts anyway here you go right here those are the part numbers for the filters you got your oil filter uh, you've got your fuel filter and your, uh, I just went ahead and got one of these guys here for the uh, second fuel filter there. Anyway, there you go. A uh, little tiny thing right there, but uh, yeah, that is, uh, those are the three filters for it. Now, I was not able to find the damn part numbers from Lincoln anywhere. Um, I have like the whole manual setup that came with this that includes like, the Kubota supplement to the Vantage manual and all that shit, but it doesn't give you the damn part numbers for the filters anywhere. So yeah, those are the three part numbers there. Uh, the air filter, I don't know about because I haven't tracked it down yet other than I guess I, I was able to find one on the B&W Welder parts page, which I hope is the correct one. Anyway, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and run um, five, there we go. This Shell Rotella 540 synthetic. Um, I like running that in this uh, green welder here, the SA250, in the winter, mainly just because it uh, it uh, must be thin enough to where it will let this pig start in the winter. I don't know how the Kubota is going to do uh, as far as uh, temperature-wise. Um, this one does not have a block heater anywhere. At least I have not noticed it having one. Um, I may look and see if that's like an option or something I can go ahead and pick up and put on there. But anyway, I just, uh, you know, had a pain in the ass tracking down the part numbers there, so I thought I would share those. I'm Darlington Farm. I hope everybody has a good week. Please click that subscribe button down there, and thank you for watching.